It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. I am not the biggest fan of sports. I don't watch hockey, golf, tennis, basketball, baseball, or rugby. And of course, I don't watch football or soccer. However, during the last few days, Mexico had a game against Germany. And the Mexicans had one point with their tacos and nachos, obviously. However, the offended ones at FIFA took money from Mexico. The main reason? Well, apparently, they used very offensive language. And the word was... As everybody knows, Spanish words have many meanings depending on the context. For example, the word exposa, it can mean somebody who is the love of your life, but also the object that police have. The word concha has many meanings too. It could be a dish from Mexico, something on the beach, or your mom's pussy, literally. Amongst my favorite words is the word torta. A torta could be a pie, it could be a lesbian in Argentina, and it could be a sandwich in Mexico. The word has many different meanings too. Literally, it means male prostitute, but people also use it as an interjection for fucking. Here are some examples of this. Puto autobús que siempre llega tarde. Donde está un puto taxi? No me hizo ni puto caso. Anda de puto. Tiene muchas mujeres. In the context of a soccer game, puto means fucker or coward. It's so funny to me how FIFA does not want homophobia but have their game in Russia. Also, they have plans for a game in Qatar, a very Islamic country. So, uh, what the fuck? If they want a very serious message against anti-gay Bigots, why not have games with countries with gay marriages? Or, you know, countries with basic gay rights. But hey, what do I know? I'm just simply a... Él es nuestro amigo Styler Tu mejor amigo negro sí que es el mejor No lo cambiaría por nada Styler, él es nuestro amigo Styler.